Hey guys, welcome back. Christmas is a few days away. Everyone's feeling slightly stressed out. There's a ton to do. Getting your house in order should not be one of those things that is causing you anxiety. So I'm gonna share with you a really fast Christmas speed clean that's like 10 minute tasks. Each of them is only 10 minutes. You'll be amazed what you can accomplish in just 10 minutes. The first thing you need to do is a 10 minute tidy. Pick a space that's like messy, but not overwhelmingly messy. My bedroom, this is where we've been wrapping. Obviously I haven't been picking up after myself. The truth is this is less than 10 minutes to completely tidy this space. have a space in your home that's feeling overwhelming, set a timer for 10 minutes, grab a tidy tote, and you'll be amazed what you can accomplish. The next part of my Christmas cleaning routine is the kitchen because people see this space, it can collect smells. It's just important, we have to focus on this. But seriously, 10 minutes is all it is going to take to unload the dishwasher, reload the dishwasher, even hand wash a couple of things and wipe down your counters. It's all about speed here, not perfection. On your mark, get set, go. Just like kitchens, your bathroom is so important too. Dirty clothes on the floor, wet towels, toothpaste everywhere. If you have children, why oh why do they spread it everywhere? Bathroom products left out. This can make your bathroom look really messy, but the truth is it only takes a few minutes to tidy and clean a small bathroom. So set your timer and see what you can get done in 10 minutes. It's cold outside. Fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is. Now that you've tidied and spent a few minutes on your kitchen, it's time to just like quickly spot vacuum. That's just the areas of your home that are like high traffic that people are definitely going to see really fast. We're not having a deep vacuum here. We're cheating. We're so cheating. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas. And last but not least, take a few minutes to make your bed. Have everyone in the home make their bed. I know you hear this all the time. Everybody says, make your bed. But the reason is it changes your mindset. You're looking at a tidy bed and just subconsciously you're keeping your room tidier. You're less likely to drop your dirty clothes on the floor. You're more likely to just be in the mindset of tidying all throughout the rest of your home. And it only takes a few minutes to do. And nothing is better than climbing into a beautifully made bed at the end of the day. But the difference this time is that so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're feeling motivated to set your alarm and see what you can accomplish in just 10 minutes. No overthinking, no perfectionism, just rolling up your sleeves and getting it done so you can enjoy a beautiful home for the holidays. Thank you guys so much and I'm gonna see you in the new year. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. This is where rude cast comes out. I'm gonna be rude for a second because I'm mad. I'm mad at society, I'm mad at humanity, I'm mad at people. Stereotypical road ragers is really who I'm mad at and they are so stereotypical, aren't they? It's a busy time of year, everyone's stressed out, but if you have procrastinated to shopping at the last minute, I feel you man, because I've done the same, but it's not everyone else's fault. So stop raging on everyone else both in stores and while driving places. So I've had road rage incidents this week. My very first car accident, it's been stressful, okay? So I was in the Walmart parking lot, problem number one, and this punk, this little, I'm calling him a punk, even though he's my age, he's still, he dressed like a punk ass kid from high school, you know, he was wearing the bag clothes hats on his side, you know? He was in the 1998 looking 
Dodge Neon with the big fin up the back and the stripe down the side. You know what I mean? Like he's a race car driver. Like he's bad guy. Um, I'm being so rude, but honestly, he was standing there waiting for a parking spot. He, like with his four ways on in the middle of the parking lot, like just right there so no one could go around him because other cars were coming this way hoping for this imaginary parking spot so he didn't have to walk to the back of the lot and I waited a while behind this guy and he's just waiting so then I went around him when I had a chance and there was no cars coming to go around because I'll park at the back I need the exercise dude well he sees me going around him and then he rages because he thinks I'm trying to go for his imaginary parking spot that isn't even there and he pulls in front. He's like, I've been waiting here. I'm getting, don't take my spot. You B word, all the words flipping me off, freaking out. This guy, man. Going to Walmart at all this time of year is, is problem number one. Trying to even go around the guy who's too fast, too furious, that's what she said, is uh, problem number two. And uh, I paid for it with having little man scream at me and call me all the names. Anyways, I go around this guy. I'm stressed now. I'm anxious because I've been screamed at by this little punk. And I go to pull in a parking spot and then I'm crooked. I'm always crooked. I'm kind of not a great driver. And I try to back up a little bit to straighten out. And somebody, we, we smacked a doodled. My fault. My bad. I felt so bad about it. Um, she was actually nice after I cried and acted really apologetic. <laughs> there was no road rage there because women, because women were nice to each other. And so we took care of it and I, I felt so bad, but I was so stressed about the fact that I got in my first ever accident. Car washes, curbs, buildings, gas meters at random banks, and inanimate objects do not count as an accident. I'm saying a car that belonged to someone other than my husband when I backed into him in the driveway repeatedly. Why does he park behind me? Not the point. I was very upset. So I'm driving very slow the next day, like slow, like super cautious because I'm going to hit no one, my friend. And I'm going so slow and the light turns yellow and I stop at it. And stereotypical road rager number two, first we got too fast, too furious punk kid who was like obviously beat up in high school and he's trying to make up for it for looking like a bad guy and acting like a crazy maniac out in public. Now we've got stereotypical road rager number two, who's as wide as he is short because he goes to the gym constantly and forgets leg day and he's like 5'2 and he's really angry about it. And he's mad that I stopped at the yellow light. So he gets out of his truck his souped up, raised truck. I don't know, he must need a step ladder to get in there. And little Napoleon comes to my window of my minivan. I'm a middle-aged woman in a minivan with a car seat in the back. And he's pounding on my window like he's going to kill me. Like it's dawn of the dead and he's a zombie trying to get in. And he's pulling on the door handle and he's calling me every name in the book because I stopped on a yellow light and didn't go through, and now he's gonna be late. Literally, it turned green while he's pounding and trying to get into my van to like what, punch me in the face because I stopped at a yellow? Calm down, put down the roids, dude. It's not gonna make you taller. That's all I have to say. And I don't mean to be rude, but it's just so stereotypical. So I gun it. Thank God his feet are so small, I don't run over his toes, so I didn't get in another accident or hit someone, you see? And I pulled into a parking lot and cried. So, because he's only, he stressed me out a little bit. And I've gone home and I haven't left the house since. Because people, because humans are terrible, except women. Except, I'm not trying to man bash, but it's a crazy time of year out there, man. Just stay home and stay safe be kind to each other, right? Because we're all stressed out. We're all basket cases this time of year. And the worst thing we could do is blame everyone else for the fact that we waited to the last minute to Christmas shop. So that's my rant. Merry Christmas. Are you feeling jolly now? Probably not. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever experienced road rage and if it's one of the two stereotypical people that I mentioned today. I'm gonna guess it was. I'll see you guys next time.